Welcome back, Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great, and we, my friends, are playing some more Magic Legion. Now, I am going to go ahead and straight away apologize, because I only have 9% battery, so this could be a little bit of a short video, but I'm still having problems with my charger and stuff, so, um, yeah. Um, but basically, what I'm going to do today, guys, is straight away on this video, um, Lots of you are still asking uh, how I get diamonds so quickly, and to be honest, um, it should be the same amount of diamonds as what you guys are getting, um, because I don't really do anything special, um, so I'm just going to show you pretty much what I do as of uh, how I get my diamonds, guys. Um, so pretty much, it's like everyone know, or I've said in the past, I have got the benefits. So the benefits of both of these, the... Uh, the large one, which is permanent, permanent is going to cost you like ten pounds, like ten English pounds. The temporary thirty-day one is going to cost you like four pounds. So, um, once you buy the large one, that's going to be permanent. That's until the end of time on this one server. Now, this isn't across every single server. It's only per server that you bought it on. So, in this case, on 94, I have the permanent reward, which is going to give me 250 diamonds every single day, every single day that I log into this account. Now, this one here, which is 150 diamonds, this only lasts for 30 days. So, for like £4, um, you're going to get um 150 diamonds per day now bear in mind the first time that you buy this you're gonna get the 250 diamonds and then you're also gonna be able to claim it and get the 150 diamonds so the first time you that you buy this for like um like four pounds or i think it's like five dollars if you're working off of dollars um you're actually gonna get yourself uh 400 diamonds um, and then you're going to continue to get 150 diamonds for like 29 days after that. Um, so just bear that in mind. So as you can see here, guys, obviously I've just claimed the diamonds there. So I've just got 400 diamonds off the bat right there. So that's one of the biggest things of how to get your diamonds. So obviously every single day you get your guild bosses. So when you come into here and you claim your guild bosses, you're going to go ahead and get 360 diamonds as long as your team or, or your guild completes all 10 bosses. Now the next thing that you want to do guys is come over into the share for the uh, Facebook and by sharing over on here you're going to get another 10 diamonds. So we're already talking like 770 diamonds in like 30 seconds um, because of the bonuses. If you, if I didn't have the bonuses, then you're talking like 370 diamonds. So bear that in mind. Now, the next one is obviously coming into here, guys. So obviously from your daily reward, you're always going to get yourself 10 day uh, diamonds for, for a single day. So we're talking like crazy amounts now your treasures guys if you don't know what your treasures are this is a mixture between uh, this is actually like obviously how far you're going in the game um and defeating the bosses and stuff so the more of the bosses that you've defeated the uh, the better the rewards are that you're gonna that you're gonna get so make sure that you're coming into your maps and you're fighting the dungeons in each of the maps because the further you are through the town uh, or through the maps and through the bosses in the maps, you're going to be getting better rewards from them. So you can see here that when I claim these, I'm going to get 110 diamonds. So now we're talking like what were we? We were like 770. So we're now at like 880 diamonds just from straight off the bat, guys which is really really cool so obviously this here isn't going to be anything but one thing that i do want to show you with this is you want to double check and make sure that you haven't got anything special at the bottom end so that you know if before you roll the dice that is because then you're going to be able to see whether or not you can aim for anything particular so if you're really trying to get diamonds then i would say try and aim for the chests but with this case, I'm, I'm not really bothered what I go for. Um, 
but if you can aim for chests, especially if you can get down the bottom end and you can go for like these times five gold chests, then you can get some really good diamonds uh, from those bad boys. So obviously that's just the, some of the main things. Now the next one and probably the most important one guys is your guild. Now you can see here that at the moment I'm in underworld. Um, so if we go to the members, we can actually see the ranking of the guild. And you can see at this moment in time on, nine, on server 94, I'm in Underworld, which is the guild number two on the server. Now, the reason why this is so important is because if we go into the guild expansion, you can see that like for having the very big tower, which obviously just do it have, they're going to get... Um, a hundred and uh, one hundred diamonds and a hundred runes daily benefit. Now, if you're actually involved in capping or like capturing this tower, you're gonna get a bonus two hundred. Now, this is where this is really really important. So, for example, if you're coming in here, you can see that we're defending on all of these, right? Which isn't really a big deal, but for example. If we were able to attack this tower here and we were able to conquer it, you can see the rewards that we would get if we're part of the team that's going to conquer it. Um, and then for having it, you're going to get a daily reward. So bear that in mind, guys. If you see your guild attacking anything and it is worth joining them because you're strong enough, then make sure you join it because then obviously you're going to get bonus diamond rewards. So you can see here, we have Underworld right here. So when we have for having this, we're going to get 50 diamonds per day as a daily benefit. But if we were attacking it, we would get a, like 100,000 gold and 20,000 prestiges. So bear that in mind, guys, because some of these, I like some of these towers, if you are if you're on the attacking team and you win you get daily bonuses so make sure you're joining these and it's going to help one make your guild stronger and two give you a ton of benefits so that's really really important now once your team or your guild is established and you're getting stronger you're doing some good stuff and things you can come into your benefits on your guild now you can see that the stuff that the guild has at the moment like all of the guild expansions that's going to give us or give me 250 diamonds and 250 re uh, runes so by claiming that you can see here guys that just in this video just from doing the standard stuff every single day, I think I've gone and got something like a thousand runes um, or close to. I think it's around about 950, um, something like that. Um, so you can see here, really, really easy just doing that. Now, one of the other things as well, guys, that I do on a very regular basis is I will come to the most popular um, areas. So, for example, just just say Death Rift. Now, this isn't the one that I would normally go to, but find on your particular server, find the most uh, uh, active boss. So, for ex for example, we're just going to go into this boss. So, it, like, this isn't going to be a very active boss because of what uh, the items that he's got. So, ideally. Um, you want to go to Snowville because that is a very active boss because he's a lower level and a lot of people are trying to grind out the items. The other ones would be the uh, the bosses that are going to give uh, relics. Um, but for example, you can see here that there's three people trying to fight this boss right now. So if you farm this, now you can farm this like 10 to 15 times every single day and it will cost you like next to no elixir or no stamina every single time that you attack as long as you're in a team of three you're going to get nine diamonds per attack so just for attacking 10 times which if you find a really popular boss that you can attack really quickly and get him out of the way you're going to get another 100 diamonds within say about maybe 15 minutes so just bear that in mind guys because all of these things are even though they seem really minute and not very uh, interesting. These are the ways that you actually increase in diamonds super, super quickly. 
by doing these little steps every single day, you're going to get a ton more diamonds than what you normally would. So, for example, if you do the, uh, if you go ahead and do that boss fight 10 times every single day, that's 1,000, like you're talking like 700 runes to 1,000 runes extra per week that you wouldn't normally have had because you didn't go and do those boss fights. So bear that in mind, especially if you're trying to save up for um, a, pit, a particular event. So for the likes of me, when I was sa uh, saving up for like the week because of the fact that there wasn't really anything special going on within the events, I was saving up for about, I think, a week in the diamonds, which you guys saw. And then I was able to do a huge pat or uh, egg smashing at the beginning of the event. Um, and spend like 20,000 runes, uh, or sorry, 20,000 diamonds at the very beginning of the the event. Um, and I'm already at something like, I think I'm already at like 4,000 or 5,000 uh, diamonds. And it's only been like two days since I went and bought, uh, since I went and bought all of those eggs slash spent my 20,000 diamonds. Now, obviously I have got a bit stronger and I've been able to put, uh, move through the map. But this is the other thing as well, guys. Depending on the events that are coming will kind of depend on how heavy you want to push through the map. Because if you push through the map, you might be tempted to actually go and spend your diamonds on opening up card packs. But you can see here, like we're going to get 100 diamonds for each one of these areas that we're going to get. So that's going to be 500 diamonds there. And then what's the final one? The final one is a thousand diamonds. So from completing this map zone, we're going to get 1500 diamonds again. Um, just for completing this zone. Now we're going to do that because of obviously at the moment the egg smashing events on. And we're going to get some really good rewards for spending as many diamonds as we possibly can. Now ideally, I'm going to be aiming to open up... Um, I want to say 350 eggs, um, but we'll check in a little while, guys. I'm pretty sure it's 350 eggs, which, if that is the case, then it's probably going to work out about, I think, about 45,000 diamonds worth, um, which isn't too bad, because as you've just seen here, I, I can get a 1,000 diamonds a day not including any bonus things that I'm doing. So if you take into consideration farming the bosses, take into consideration uh, fighting any new zones and getting diamonds for that, opening up chests and getting diamonds from them, um, you can be talking uh, like upwards of probably about 1,500 diamonds a day. Um, if you really grind out, you could probably get 2,000 a day. Um, or if you're in, like, say, the number one guild, like, just do it. Um, I think they actually, when I calculated last, people that are in just do it guild actually get, like, uh, 350 or 400 diamonds per day um, from their guild alone. Um just because of the the guild expansion zones they have a lot of zones that will give them a bonus 50 diamonds per day um so they get like 350 um because of that um if you're actually in just do it then put down in the comments down below guys how much benefit do you like from your benefits what do you get or if you're in, like, to be honest, put down in the comments any server. So tell me what server you're in, what position your guild is in, and what your daily benefit rewards are. So um, I'll show, I'll very quickly show you how to do that again, um, just because I'm interested to see what people are doing and how their uh, how their guilds are doing. So, for example, if you come into your guild and you click on members. You can see over on the left hand side the ranking button and then that will scroll then you could just scroll down and find your guild name. Now I used to be in this guild that is actually in uh, ninth place. Um, so I actually changed up guild and I managed to get into the guild that was in fourth place. Um, but at the time they were in second 
um, and then I decided to leave them and I've applied for Underworld and well I, I applied for just do it and Underworld but I got accepted into Underworld so you can see here that obviously by going into there you can see that my guild is number two you can see the name of your guild at the very top of the screen if you didn't know and then by clicking on the right hand side the guild clerk you can click on benefits and it will show you down the bottom what your benefits are um so as standard you're always going to get the xp you're always going to get the gold and you're always going to get the cake that's just standard for being in the position of the guild um but then down the bottom you can see uh, at the moment we occupy seven small areas five um medium areas and zero large areas which is going to give us 250 runes and diamonds and then 460,000 gold. Now, there's only one large area in the guild expansion, which is the very, very center, uh, which is this one right here. And for owning the very center one, you're gonna get 100 diamonds and 100 runes. That's just standard. Um, all of these ones, like these little mini castles, they're the, um, they're the medium areas, and then these ones over here, these are the small areas. So normally small areas are only going to give you gold, medium areas are going to give you diamonds and runes, and then large areas are going to give you diamonds, runes as well. Um, so just bear that in mind guys, but put down in the comments, tell me how things are going, what is our battery at? Our battery uh, is at 7%, so we're doing okay guys. So tell me in the comments down below guys, tell me what that is going on in your server and how you're doing in that area. Now one thing that i wanted to check real quick is this right here i think it's three yeah so we're going to be aiming for 360 because i want to get this weapon and offhand because by having these it's going to increase by having two pieces of this it's going to increase my whiz my magic attack and my hp which is going to be really really cool um i very much doubt i'm going to be able to get to the 500 odd but if i can I am certainly going to try because as you can see here guys we have seven days left so that's going to be guaranteeing me probably about another 10,000 diamonds um, because of what I can do and because of this zone over here to be honest I could probably grind out a few more areas um, and maybe even sort of start pushing to maybe 15 or 20,000 diamonds so I'm going to be doing the calculations of how many diamonds I'm actually going to need to get in order or from where I am now in order to open up another uh, enough eggs to smash open the uh, to smash open the 360 eggs that I need in order to do that. Um, and then I'll do further do the calculations on how many diamonds i would need to smash open the 520 eggs i believe it is so obviously as well guys you can see here every single time you win a battle for the first time you uh, play the round you're again gonna go ahead and get yourself 10 diamonds now once i've done this i'm gonna show you one other really important thing that you need to do and again I, I say it in probably every single video, guys, because it is actually really important that you do it. And whether or not you want to take the risk and go for it is completely up to you. But it depends on how much you need your runes for other stuff, slash how much you want to save up your runes for spells or not. Um, so another really big thing that i i do to get my diamonds is i go into the shop right here guys i go into the crown store and i buy my chest so obviously i haven't got any chests in here at the moment i'm not going to spend 10 uh, 20 diamonds to reset the board to see if we can get a chest but i always go ahead and buy my chest so um i will buy the bronze the silver and the gold um, not so much now for the bronze and the silver, but I always buy the gold chest when I see it. Um, because of the fact that even if you look at this and you open it up, you might get diamonds from it. So you can see in the top here, like you could get any of this gear. But right down the bottom, 
from the silver chest you have the possibility of getting 50 or 100 diamonds now as i say it is a complete luck of the draw but considering you're spending runes like as you can see there i just went and got 100 diamonds so if that chest was one of the ones that i bought from the store it cost me 15 runes to get a hundred diamonds um so sometimes it will work out for in your advantage to be able to go ahead and get the good stuff and things do you know what before we open up those gold ones we're actually going to come back in here and we're going to go to this tower right here how's the battery doing guys we're at six percent so we've got enough battery to do this let's go into this forgotten tower um because doing these forgotten towers i actually forgot about saying it to you but doing these forgotten towers are also a really good way because obviously you get a ton of chess but you also get those hero cards as well so let's very quickly go ahead and finish off this tower because we're right at the top um so we might as well finish it off get those last uh, couple of gold chests i think it's going to be like something like four gold chests that we're missing uh by not fighting this tower right now and you can see with my battle strength guys we are dominating this thing like it's super easy to go and uh, knock out this tower right now and hopefully you've got the battle strength to do this as well so i don't know how easy it's going to be to fight this boss though so this could be quite interesting um but we have the shield of doom so it shouldn't be too hard uh, let's just go ahead and hit him with a pig arno's doing a ton of damage so i don't even think i'm going to get time to actually cast the reaper's scythe but we're going to go for it because this spell is amazing look at this boom carve that pig into bacon my friends now he must have been just over the 40 percent mark but hey it's okay it don't matter let's just go ahead get those chests like look at that five gold chests for doing that very last one also if you can snap up those gifts at the moment guys you're gonna get like i think it's 20 diamonds per gift that you can actually snap up um at the time so again as you can see from the gold chest guys not only are you going to get all of this gear or possibility of getting this gear i think from the gold you can get 180 or 100 diamonds so if you can get them again you're talking good stuff and things so let's go ahead and open up these 18 and see what we can get okay nice we actually got 180 diamonds but we got quite a lot of gear um unfortunately we didn't get any legendary gear that we need but we did go ahead and get this now one thing that i do want to uh point out guys you need to be really really careful now when it comes to your cards because if you look at the academy cards you now have two different types of cards and you can see if you look at the advanced card um you can see it just looks normal it's all blue um and you can see it says here random learner skill that costs prestige with inside the uh, advanced academy now if you look at the one next to that it is a lot more gold in color it has all gold stuff now if you look at this now it is saying the library card but it is the same as the academy cards so it shows up in more gold but if you look at it use to read uh in the advanced uh, read an advanced book in the library now this does not say prestige now this is a brand new thing that has come into the game that's been updated which means that any card that does not specify that it is you it unlocks prestige skills means it can be used on runes so bear that in mind guys don't go wasting these cards on prestige skills make sure you use them on rune related skills um, because it's going to save you runes in the long run so as you can see here again um this one right here can be just randomly learn any spell it doesn't specify going for a um for prestiges because it's got a, a gold color around the border if you look at the advanced card it's got a silver color around the border 
whereas the other one has a gold color around the border now if it's gold bordered it means that it can be used for anything um if it's not gold border then i it means it can only be used for prestigious from what i've seen on my own experience just correct me down the bottom if that is wrong but all of the gold borders never say prestigious as you can see here on the moderate one it clearly states cost prestigious so bear that in mind guys but anyway moving on we got 180 diamonds so just in this video here you can see that i'm already up to something like what is that like 13 or 1400 diamonds in this video alone guys so this is how i earn so much diamonds on a daily basis because of the fact that i just do everything that you guys are doing um but maybe i've just done a little bit more um so as i say make sure you go in and fight your bosses within every single map that you are in um if you have completed every single boss zone um in every single map up to where you are that's going to give you the best amount of diamonds that you can get so really quickly if i just show you what i mean by this so click on in uh that's not the thing um where am i going so if i come in here and just go snowville let's just go into snowville so for example if you've completed every single one of these bosses by coming into here going into the camp for the boss when you're inside the boss it's going to show you what you're going to get for the day's reward so for example for the very first one it's going to give you more gold more prestiges for the second one um you're going to get more gold more prestiges if you complete the final one you're going to get more gold and diamonds so make sure you complete every single one of these because when you collect those daily rewards you're going to get the rewards out of those chests every single day which is going to add up as you move on how's the battery we're still doing five percent guys that's fine let's continue to open up these heroes and then once we've opened up all of these heroes guys we're probably going to call it a day nice we just got a six star that's awesome that is really really cool now we do have these ones these are the six star pick heroes um so i'm saving them up until i can uh get uh particular heroes that i really really need slash get the diamonds to be able to do uh more as in I'm, I'm saving them up until I can get some more Arnos. Let's just be honest about it, guys. There's no other six hero, no other six star hero, hero worth getting other than Arno really is there, guys, because he's just so damn amazing. Now, we're doing really good, actually. Let's go for a random six star hero and see what we can get. Hopefully, it's something good. Okay, actually, that's actually pretty damn good. Shield of Doom. Um, can we actually upgrade him with that or do we need one more we need one more there and we need three more arnos we do have four four heroes guys we do have four six star pick uh sorry four yeah four six star pick heroes that's what i was saying now tell me in the comments down below guys do you want to actually see me use all four of these and get one shield of doom and three arnos upgrade them both and make them both super badass and destroy everyone with them uh we didn't mean to click on that because obviously if we get one more of the shield of doom that's going to make him level seven if we get three more of the arno that's going to make him level 10 it's going to cost me two thousand runes to upgrade arno one thousand runes to upgrade the shield of doom which means three thousand runes four six star hero cards two heroes two evolving and then there will just be hell on earth because the two of them will be the terrible twosome and will just rain hellfire on everybody so yeah that that would be really cool stuff and things so let's go ahead smash open up another 20 eggs and see if we can get anything good what what is with this uh room with this relic guys or uh, offhand we have so many of these we need stuff that i don't have um okay so we didn't really get anything too special in there but hey never mind who cares right guys but that's not what we're here for we're here to have some fun but anyway i really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have please make sure you hit that like please make sure you hit that subscribe and i shall see you in the next one peace on the streets